It's official. The new name of the channel is Elise Rose Crochet. Today, I wanted to just come on here and share my heart about why I decided to change the name of the channel. But first, I really want to thank each and every one of you who took the time to vote in my poll that I put up in the community tab, as well as all of the comments. I have read every single one of them, and your advice helped me so much to make this decision. I value your thoughts and your opinions, and just to be honest, you guys are a very smart bunch of people, so when I put out the poll on the community tab, I was really hoping that people would give me some feedback and that the voting wouldn't end up being split down 50-50. I was really worried about that, but you all came through, and I cannot thank you enough for that. Your advice helped me more than you know. I started this channel back in 2018, and I never never once ever thought that it would grow to where it is today. I really just wanted a place to be able to share my crocheting and connect with other crafters. The reason why I chose Le Petit Saint Crochet was because I thought it sounded pretty. I thought it was very chic and very French, and it was in honor of my favorite saint, who is Saint Therese of Lisieux. She was a cloistered French nun and was famous for the little way, which she strived to do small things with great love. Crocheting is a small thing, and I wanted to be reminded that when I do small things with the greatest of love, it can be a powerful force of good in the world. What I didn't realize at the time was that, number one, French is extremely difficult for me to pronounce. I've even been trying to learn on Duolingo and doing French lessons every day, and I, I butcher it. I try so hard, and it just doesn't come out right. Number two, the other thing that I didn't know was that French has feminine and masculine nouns. So my little honor towards St. Therese of Lisieux, who was a female nun, I tried to create a channel name, Le Petit Saint Crochet, but that's masculine. So even in my attempt to honor St. Therese, it didn't work. It came out masculine. So that was another thing that started to get into my head a little bit. And number three, and really the most important thing, was that people were telling me that it was difficult for them to pronounce the channel name because most of my viewers are in English-speaking countries like the US, Canada, UK, Australia, and they were having a hard time finding it because the spelling is difficult, the pronunciation is difficult, they couldn't remember the name, and I started to think about, I I need to make this easier for people, not harder. About a year ago, I seriously started thinking of changing the name. I was brainstorming lots of different ideas and I was really considering changing the name to The Little Saint Crochet because it's a direct translation. But something about it just didn't feel right. And one day, the name Elise Rose Crochet popped into my head and I knew immediately, I was like, if I'm ever going to change the name of my channel, that's going to be it. But all of these little doubts kept creeping into my mind and I I thought, oh, you shouldn't change it, especially when I began to creep closer and closer to the 100,000 mark, because when you hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, they send you this plaque, this silver play button with your channel name on it. And as I came closer to that milestone, I just thought, it's too late. When I hit 100,000, they're going to send me the plaque, and I'm going to be stuck with the name forever. And so I just resigned myself to the fact I still loved the name, even with all of the difficulties, but I just thought, I'll never be able to change it. Then I started to change my mind because I was getting comments from French fluent speakers who were saying, you're not pronouncing this right. And they were very kind about it, but they were letting me know, hey, you're not doing this correct. And I was trying really hard. <laughs> and you probably can go back and watch some of the videos and you will see the evolution of how I used to pronounce the channel name and how I started to change it. And I would go back and forth and it's really kind of funny now to, to think about it. Two comments really stuck in my mind though. One said, hey, listen, not to be mean or anything, but the way you're pronouncing this channel sounds like you're saying the little blood crochet. And I thought, what? <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then the nail in the coffin was a comment that I got, I think it was last week, and someone said, hey, I love your content, but I just wanted you to know that the way you're saying your channel name sounds like you're saying the little breast. I was mortified. I immediately went on to Google Translate and looked up the little blood, the little breast, the little saint, and put them all into Google Translate and listened to each one of the ways to say those. Le petit saint.
Le petit sein. And let me just say, my American ears couldn't really hear any difference. And I didn't know if it was sort of like how we have in English. We have two words that are spelled differently. They mean totally different things, but they sound the exact same, like the words pear and pear, like the fruit pear. And then if you have a pair of shoes, I didn't know if it was like that. Or if I could not hear the difference in those words at all. I wasn't sure. At that point, I decided I need to seriously think about making this change because I was becoming more and more self-conscious about it because I would think, am I saying something completely opposite of what I wanna say? That's when I decided to put the poll up in the community tab and I thought, why not ask people who view the channel? What do they think? Because you guys have always given me such great advice. You have such great comments. And I knew, I knew that you would steer me in the right direction. And 4,000 of you have voted and it is overwhelmingly in favor of changing the channel name. It's 65% in favor of changing the channel to something new. Now, I didn't share what the new channel name was going to be, but many of you agreed. Yes, this is difficult for us to find. We can't spell it. And there were French speakers that were saying, yeah, you struggled a little bit with this. Maybe you should change it. And I just thought this was exactly what I needed to hear. I'm a person that believes when you are seeking an answer to a problem, if you truly look, you will be given the right decision through different things that happen in your life. And there were a couple of things that helped me to know that this was the right decision. And two of them were comments in the community tab poll about whether or not I should change the name. They both wrote in their comments the quote from the Shakespeare play, Romeo and Juliet. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. It was a little nudge to me that helped me to know that by naming my channel Elise Rose Crochet that I was on the right track and I felt really encouraged by it. And then today, this morning, as I was cleaning up the kitchen after breakfast, I hear a very loud knock on my front door. And I thought, who in the world is here in the morning? I open the door and there is a man standing there with a gorgeous arrangement of flowers. And I thought, who in the world is sending me flowers? <laughs> I, I, I don't get flowers ever. I mean, it's extremely rare. And I thought, oh my goodness, who are these from? And I opened it up and it was from my mother-in-law and they were flowers for my birthday, which is next week. And she always sends me a gift for my birthday, but it's never been flowers before. And guess what? Guess what was in that arrangement? three roses. And why that really spoke to me on top of just the obvious rose connection is that my old channel name, Le Petit Saint Crochet, and the new channel name, Elise Rose Crochet, have a connection. Because my favorite saint, Saint Therese of Lisieux, was known as the little flower. And of course, a rose is a flower. And so I just... I just felt really good about it. And I was named for the Beethoven song for Elise, which is very well known. Most of you probably know it if you heard it. It's the da 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 You know that song. So that was where my first name came from. But my middle name, Rose, is from my grandmother. It was my father's mother and she died when my dad was only six years old. And so I never met her, but I've always felt a kinship to her. And so I just thought that it, it just, was a full circle moment for me to get those flowers this morning and to see all of the little connections. And I just feel really good about the channel name change. So I hope you like the new channel name and I know that there will be a few of you who are disappointed in the change, but I do thank you from the bottom of my heart for expressing your opinions. It really did mean the world to me. As of today, I've changed all of my social media handles to Elise Rose Crochet and even my website is now EliseRoseCrochet.com. And that was another little thing that helped me to know that I was on the right track because I thought this was going to take a long time to change it, but I contacted my web hosting company on Wednesday and they had the final clone, they call it cloning, they had to clone everything onto the new domain. They had it the next day, completely done. All of the bugs and everything were fixed, all the redirects. So if you go onto Pinterest and you find one of my pins and you click on it, it's going to redirect you to the new website. So I was like, 
wow, this went so much smoother than I thought it would. So that was another thing that made me feel really good about it. And although the channel name has changed, the content is not going to change at all. It's just the name. That's the only thing that's going to change. I'm still going to be talking about crocheting, knitting, and amigurumi, and sharing projects that I'm working on, and reviewing patterns, and doing all of those things. So rest assured, nothing is really changing. It's just the name. It's just a little easier for me to pronounce, and hopefully for you to find. I just want to thank Thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me to make this change and for encouraging me and sharing your opinions, whether you wanted to change it or you didn't want me to change the channel name. I just appreciated that you shared your thoughts with me. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and that you stay safe out there and happy stitching.